Hi everyone, it's Goddess Lily. Well, I decided that I'm ready to touch up my head mold. This head mold is about four years old and it's, if you can tell, let me see, it has so many holes in it that I'm afraid it's going to tear my delicate lace and all the, you know, tapes so old and peeling off. So what I decided to do instead of using my head, since this is already a perfect match, was I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this with the clear plastic and then put the tape over it, scotch tape, and uh, just make a head mold from my old head mold instead of using my head. So it's already, you know, caved in on the side where... I keep the bulk of my hair in the back because I braid my hair coming down, my French braids coming down and then I just crisscross them. So that's what that is. I know a lot of people do the circular diagonal, but I don't really know how to do that. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it with clear plastic and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, so I covered her with clear plastic as you can see. So once you have your plastic all the way over your head mode and you smoothed it down, you want to take the tape, your scotch tape, and you want to put it around the bottom just to hold it in place. So, once you have it held in place, normally if this were your head, you would have the scotch tape taped around your neck and you probably cut out, you know, this little area so you can breathe. So then, as you know, you just start taking your tape, long, long strips of tape like this. And then you're going to just start placing it. from the top all the way to the back. So then you're just going to start covering this whole mold with tape and overlapping it. And then you're going to end up crisscrossing it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this whole mold with tape and then we'll be right back. Okay. I have her completely covered with new tape over the new plastic. So, if you look real close, you can see that's the front. It has all those little itty bitty tiny pins around the ear, the back. So, but what I'm going to do, now I've never made this this way before. So, I have a little, you know, flip knife thingy. And... I'm going to start with the back because I want to take it off. So I'm going to try to cut it without, you know, ripping up my canvas head. All right, I should be able to slip it off now. Okay, I'm going to put it between my knees and work this baby off. It's just not coming off. Oh, goodness. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is my new head mold. So, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take all these thousands of pins off. And then what I'm going to do is, well actually you know what, I'm going to put this back on and trace one side and then flatten it together and trace the other side. That way I know that it'll come out even. 
Okay, so I'll do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I want to show you what I did. <clears throat> I marked this side. This is the front. So, of course, it kind of stops like here, but I'm not going to worry about the front. All I want to worry about is that it was even from ear to ear. So, I marked this side all the way across the bottom. So, now all I have to do is follow that marking in the inside to make sure this side, this ear comes out. So, you know, I cut it kind of weird, so I ran out of plastic. I think I cut it too high, so, you know, I had a hard time cutting it. So don't cut it like me, but once I mark it, I'm going to actually put it back and add some more tape over it. Okay, so, so just to mark it. I'm just going to follow that tape, that marking in the inside all the way out. So, when I open it up. Sorry about the motorcycle. So that's the back, that's that ear, and that's that ear. Okay, so um, that looks pretty high only because I ran out of, you know. I cut it too high. So hopefully it's going to turn out pretty even. And what I'm going to do next is go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and take all these pins off. Leave the cotton. And put this back on. But actually I don't use cotton. I use sanitary napkins. Because they make it really hard and they don't collapse. So that's really what this is. I kind of, you know cut you know the outsides and take all the tape off the napkins and then I just use the inside because it's a really stiff cotton and it holds a lot better than just you know the cotton balls okay so I will come back and show you the finished product when I'm all done I have one important tip before I put all these pins in to show you so basically I use the same cotton and um, I put it in place I kind of changed the canvas head and so put the dirty part in the back so what I want to show you is no matter how you put the canvas head how you put your mold on your canvas head one important thing you want to do is make sure that the distance from the ear to the bottom is the same on each side so basically you want to kind of put it right in the center and measure it. So this measures about seven inches. So I want this to measure about seven inches too on this side. And as you can see, it's about seven inches. It is this side is maybe one little um, centimeter longer than the other side. I mean, I can take it off and try to tilt it one centimeter, but one centimeter is not going to make that, you know, much of a difference. Now, if it was like a half an inch, half an inch off, then yeah, I would try to tilt it and make it even. So you want to make sure that all your extra, um, the bulkness is going to be in the back. So you're always going to have some kind of little pleat back here that you're going to have to pin to the side. So you want to start pinning and just make it start from the center and just make it smooth as much as you can and around the ear but go ahead and anchor it with some pins before you start using all your little pins. 
So what I like to do is put a row of pins right at the nap. This is the nap of my neck right here. And then put a row of pins down at the very bottom. And uh, that's it. So then I will do my markings like I have. This is, this marking right here is my hairline. So rather than cut it across, I'll just probably mark it from ear from side to side some kind of way curve it around like that and just put a row of pins across the front you know or just a dotted line just so I know that that is the edge of my hairline so when I'm putting my lace I know where to put my line of pink thread so I'll know where to stop ventilating but I'm happy the way it turned out so um Hopefully this will give you a little, you know, guidelines on how to make your mode. Okay, thank you for watching.